Welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to install reinforcements using area reinforcement and path reinforcement method in the structural slab. Also, we are going to learn how to create reverse schedules for slab and how to put up the detailed drawing and reverse schedules in our sheets. Let's get started. So first of all, I am going to start with the bottom reinforcements in the single span like this one and the separately for the other span. To start with the area reinforcement, we have to click on slab and in the reinforcement section, click on area, click OK. And then we have to create a rectangle for the boundary of reinforcements. So that rectangle will start from this corner all the way up to the opposite corner. And for the major direction, this is correct one. Click on finish edit mode. Now that area reinforcements are complete, it's time to set up the properties. Click on the boundary. And in the properties section, as you can see, we have four layers. We do not need the top reinforcement as we are going to create it using the path reinforcement. So we will uncheck both of these. And for the major side, we are going to place the reinforcement at the rate of 9 inches center to center. And for the minor side, we are going to create it at 10 inches center to center. These spacings and diameters are entirely depending upon the structural design of your project. I am just making it for an example for you, it's time to install the top reinforcement using path reinforcement method. But first of all, we have to uh, hide the unnecessary rebars because we are going to create a shop rank and we do not need lots of reinforcements. And to show only some of these rebars, we have to select any side and then click on select select none and we want to show only two rebars which will be showing the spacing between the rebars and the size and shape of rebar so these two are fine click on finish only these two will be shown in the drawing as same for the other side select select none and these two click on finish now let's create the top reinforcement using path reinforcement method and to do so we have to go to structure tab and in the reinforcement section click on path and then we have to select the slab then using the line tool we can create the reinforcements we will start from the one corner and all the way to the other side as you can see the reinforcements is being created outside the host so we will click on these arrows to flip it on the other side then we have to write the size of these reinforcements as you can see our dimension is 28 feet so this will be 28 by 4 this will be span over 4 or 1 fourth of span and also we have a shade of 2.5 feet so we will add up this one 28 1 fourth of 28 is 7 and 2 feet 6 inches this will be 9 feet 6 inches so this is okay and then we will click on spacing to set up the spacing for this section let's make it number 3 and spacing will be 9 inches center to center then click on finish edit mode this will create the reinforcements Let's create one more example between these two spans and then uh, time lapse the video because it will make the video much longer. Then we will move on to the rebar schedules. Now click on path and then select the structural slab. And this time we have to create the rebars from this point up to the edge of this wall. Flip it to the other side 
as we have 25 feet 6 inches on this side and 18 feet 6 inches on the other side so the 25 feet 6 inches 25.5 divided by 4 this will give us 6.375 and 18.5 divided by 4 it will give us 4.265625 plus 6.375 gives us 11 feet so let's create 11 feet long and as you can see it is just fine and it is starting from the edge of this wall up to the edge of this wall now click on finish edit mode and that's it now I will create all the other sides in the time lapse All sides of uh, top reinforcement is also created and now we have to clean up our drawing so that we can show more details instead of more rebars so let's select these rebars click on show middle so this will show only one rebar in the middle show middle for our side There is one trick for cleaning up our drawing. As you can see, we have a lot of lines of path reinforcement. All the rectangles are showing the path reinforcement are shown in the drawing. So we have to hide them. To do so, we have to go to view and click on visibility or graphics. And then we have to find the structural path reinforcement. Open it up and we have to hide the boundary. Then click apply ok this will clean up all the drawing all the exterior boundaries of path reinforcement are hidden make sure all the annotations are shown properly and near to the reinforcement and making it more clean like this now we have to make a rebar schedule and before making rebar schedules we have to write the names for all the reinforcements so this will be an area reinforcement and this will be a path reinforcement let's go back to visibility states and show the path reinforcement boundaries for once so that we can select them and give them names all of these area reinforcements are the partition let's create a partition separate partition for all the area reinforcements and all the uh, path reinforcements so let's select this one and this one also this one this one and all the path reinforcements to be selected and then in the properties section in front of partition we can write top rebars and for the area reinforcements we can write bottom rebars now it's time to create a rebar schedule we have to go to view and in the create section click on schedules schedules or quantities and then we have to find structural rebar click ok and we have to 
add up all the properties which we want to show in our reverse schedules for example we have to add bar diameter bar length a dimension b dimension and g dimension and we have to add quantity partition schedule mark we do not need schedule mark at this time spacing total bar length also we need image and we have to create a new parameter for the unit mass and let's write its name as unit mass and this will be a type parameter and the discipline will be structural type of parameter will be mass per unit length click ok now we have to add a calculated parameter we will multiply total bar length and unit mass to get total mass click on add calculated parameters and we will write here total mass of rebar then we will set the discipline to structural type to mass and in the formula we will add total bar length which will be multiplied with unit mass and then we will click ok so the image will go after unit mass and total mass now we have to click ok and this will create the rebar schedules for us now we have to add unit mass to get the total mass and we have to add images for the unit mass this will be 0 0.668 for number 4 rebar and this will be added to all the number 4 rebars and for number 3 rebar we have 0 0.3 three seven six pound per feet and we have to click ok and this will give us the total mass of each rebar if you want to show the units in some other unit you can change it to let's say kilogram and in, in the unit mass we want to show it as kilograms per meter to add the images you have to click on this button and I have added some rebar shapes in order to add them in my rebar schedule let's add this rebar let's set this rebar you have to add each and every shape for rebar which will be shown in our drawing I am just randomly selecting my purpose is to show you how to create the rebar sheets how to create the sheets for rebar drawing and detailing and now we have to add these two dra these drawings and rebar schedules in our sheets to create the sheets in the project browser you have to click on right click on sheets and click on new sheet you have some pre predefined sheets in the library section and you can also create one of your own sheets which will be representing to your company or your um, style then I have also created one for my own channel so I will load that one click on load and we have uh, 17 into 22 horizontal draw and design click open and that will be loaded click ok now the remaining part is very simple we just have to drag everything inside this sheet we open up schedule drag the rebar schedule and drop it in the sheet and then we have to drag the level 2 drawing inside our sheet
like this but uh, as you can see our drawing is coming up with a wide rectangle and we do not need that rectangle and that information and also these arrows of north west east south is also coming with the drawing so in order to hide them we have to go to level 2 where is uh, where where our drawing is placed and in the properties section in the extent area check all of these three and then we have a rectangle we will drag it and resize it to our drawing like this now we do not need this rectangle also so the middle option corp region visible uncheck this option then go to sheet set as you can see the drawing is placed in the sheet and we just have to drag it a little bit inside our sheet and then drag the reverse schedule also like this then we need to go to reverse schedule to set up the size of this schedule and we have to increase the width of partition and in the rebar schedule area also spacing will be showing in the fractional unit so we have to change this unit format and we do not show it in the fractional unit we want to show it in in decimal inches and we want to show only one decimal place then go to the sheet as you can see the size of this rebar schedule is also set we just drag it a little bit then we increase the width of image section and like this and that's all for today's video i hope you learned each and everything from this video regarding the structural detailing of structural slab and i hope you enjoyed and please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with others hope to see you in the next video bye bye